right. And if you like king cakes, you can't have Mardi Gras without a king cake. And that's what we're doing this morning. But Jennifer from Sweet Olive Bakery and Cafe at Windmill Market is going to be showing us some different variations, some different things that you can do with the actual cake part of the king cake. And I see some cheese out here, some ham, looks like some maybe pepper jelly. It is. Uh -huh. um, you know, I did not grow up with Mardi Gras growing up in northwest Arkansas. So uh -huh. king cakes to me are what I've discovered. Um, on my own and last year we did very traditional I showed you how to make the brioche dough and filled it with traditional jelly and cream cheese or cinnamon and sugar and this year I kind of wanted to shake things up and um, wanted to do some savory ingredients and also wanted to do some themes like um, I made German chocolate cake icing with Ooh. coconut and pecans and a chocolate ganache. Oh, I just want to put that together and just yeah. eat that right and, out of the jar. And, and you can <laughs> while you're making it because it's that good. But then it'll all be gone and gone and you won't have any. <laughs> exactly. Um, and recently we made some homemade mustard in the shop and I've got cheese and ham and I like to put those together for those who want to celebrate Mardi Gras but maybe don't like sweets as much. Okay, so you're going to make two different ones. We've actually got three. Three? Cream okay, cheese and together. pepper jelly. Okay, those two go yeah. together. And then you already have the dough a little bit out here. So if you're making a king cake, traditional king cake at home, or you want to make one of these, as far as getting the dough to this point, can you quickly just explain? I know there's a, a few steps to it. You have to mix it all together. But just yes. how you got it to this point? Yes, you can um, You can actually look it up online because you probably still have it there. But you, in your mixer, will mix up a brioche dough. And I believe we have the recipe for you. And you'll mix it in the mixer for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, then let it sit and rise for a little bit in your refrigerator. You want it to get nice and cold. You're so in the refrigerator you can, for like four hours, right? Yes, at least. Um, I usually do overnight, so then it's very easy to work with. Okay. Then you roll it out really nice and thin, like this. Okay. And I cut strips out of it once I've rolled it out mm -hmm. so that I can fill it. Okay. Um, so and you just start filling like that? And this is where the magic happens. You can do it, you know, you can do three strips and end up with a braid like this. Uh -huh. Or um, since I have six, we're just going to do twists. All right. So, so with this many, so this is enough for three different king cakes? Yeah. And they're okay. small. These are smaller king cakes. But you can, you know, you can even make four pieces and braid those together. Mm -hmm. You can do one big one and just wrap it around, which is what I think a lot of people do traditionally. Yeah. I kind of like to... Um, get a little bit more intricate with them. I think it's more fun. Okay, well, we are ready to make some king cakes. Which one do you want to All start right. on? How about the cream cheese and pepper jelly? Because okay. that's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, this, I just take cream cheese and powdered sugar and whip it till it's really nice and smooth. Okay. And actually, a trick that I use in the bakery, but I didn't bring with me this morning, is um, icing bags with tips in them. Uh -huh. Put your filling, if it's something like this, mm -hmm. in the icing bag and you can go right down the middle of each of your king cake. That way, if you're making a bunch of them, mm -hmm. it's very easy to be neat about it. And if you don't have um, an icing bag, just get a Ziploc bag, twist it off at the top, cut a hole in the corner, and work the exact same way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But that way, you don't have to be as concerned about keeping it in the middle. You want to um, keep your edges clean, mm -hmm. because if you don't, then it will kind of everywhere yeah it'll spread around and become difficult to close it up sure so I like to put a little of the cream cheese and you can use any kind of jam but this I just thought was fun it's you know it's a little sweet and a little bit savory oh yeah pepper and you can and cheese Woo. ice this when you're finished or not and serve it as you know an hors d'oeuvre at a party that you don't have to have a bunch of sugar and sprinkles on it. Well, this looks good. So this is getting us started with the pepper, be pepper, pepper belly, ha, pepper jelly and cream cheese. And again, that recipe is on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page. Now, when we come back, Jennifer, I'm going to let you show us how to twist it all up. Sound good? Okay. And Sounds then we'll good. start on the ham, cheese, and mustard. How's that sound? All right. Back in our Rouse's kitchen with Jennifer from the Windmill Market. Jennifer, good to have you here. Thank you. Good Tell the folks a little bit about the Windmill Market. The Windmill Market is uh, steadily becoming the place to hang out in downtown Fairhope <laughs> for families and food and fun. 
We've got Sweet Olive Bakery, mm -hmm. um, a juice bar cafe, and Mr. John's Barbecue and Mary Ann's. Yep. There's also a lot of local food, produce, arts and crafts, and we have music all weekend long. It is a fun place to hang out. We had Mr. John in here recently on Studio 10 cooking up some barbecue. Yeah, he's something else. Great to go check him out in there and all the things at the Windmill Market, one of which is a king cake we're working on right yep. now. So tell us what we're going to do with this segment. So we're going to go ahead. I'll show you how we roll it up. But really quickly, I'm going to grab this one out of the oven sure. so we don't burn it. No problem. I tried to make one ahead so we could be sure and taste it. Ooh, it looks like it's perfectly done. We'll see. I think so. Nice work. Golden um, brown on the top. Exactly. That's what we want with brioche. So I'll show you quickly when we fill it like this, you want to take your brioche and gently take the, the dry parts of the dough mm -hmm. and press them together. And it won't always be perfect. You'll see it'll squish out some, but the better you can get to keeping the dry together, the better it will stay sealed. Okay. Otherwise, it'll tend to um, squish out while you bake it. So, do you make all these different kinds of king cake at the Windmill Market, or you just do yes, a few specialty we do. ones? Or? Okay. We do. Um, I primarily make them to order. Mm -hmm. I try to make king cakes on the weekends to have them around and ready. Sure. But the savory ones are new. I just came up with them, so <laughs> that's definitely an order. All right, so if you want to get your hands on one of these, you can watch how to make them today, or you can go over to Windmill Market and place an exactly. order. All right, exactly. All right, so you kind of twisted them up So there. these, when I have two, I just twist it, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do it quickly so we can show you the yummy ingredients to the next. You make it look so easy. It is pretty easy, actually. The fun thing about dough is that it rises up, and it looks beautiful, you know, whether right. it's perfect or not. All right, so what do we have so, on this one here? This is a savory one, mm -hmm. and this is a lot of fun. We made some homemade mustard the other day for the first time, which I was super fired up <laughs> to figure that out. Cool. Um, and I've got some ham mm -hmm. that I've chopped finely here. I'm going to run that on top of the mustard. Whoops. Is it kind of a Dijon Maybe mustard a that you made? Um, it's a spicy horseradish. Spicy, okay. And I used yellow and brown mustard seeds. I'm just scratching the surface. <laughs> okay. I put a little, um, a little dark beer in it as well, which wow. is interesting. You know, you can use wine or beer, or uh -huh. whatever. Then I'm going to take some shredded cheese. Uh, Swiss or cheddar is nice. And I've actually got this pretty full. Yeah, you do. That thing is. But, but. I'm all about making it really tasty and the more ingredients the better. I so like them gonna, when they, I like them when they're tasty too. I agree with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you're going to roll that no up and do the same count. process we just saw? Yep, with all that. And then if I have three pieces, uh -huh. I'll show you quickly and you and I did this last year. Okay. You braid it? Uh-huh. Like this, just one oh, after just, another. Just like that, just so simple, just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing like we did with the other and roll it around. And you just kind of cinch your pieces together. Wow. And you'll place it on a parchment mm -hmm. and let it proof for about an hour and a half. All right, sounds good. Well, we'll have more yeah. with the Windmill Market in just a little while here. Making king cakes for the Mardi Gras season, guys. Happy Friday. Hope your Friday morning is off to a fantastic start. It is here in our Rouse's kitchen. We have Jennifer Hafner from Sweet Olive Bakery and Cafe at Windmill Market showing us a little twist on the traditional king cake because we've all had the king cakes with the sugar and the glaze and those are so yummy. But Jennifer, you're showing us how to do three different things with king cakes. Yes. Um, we're getting a little bit fancier with the sweet king cakes. Yeah. I am a chocolate fan. If I'm going to eat something sweet, it has to include chocolate. Yeah, I like chocolate. So the um, German chocolate filling, you do the same way we did our other fillings. Mm -hmm. And the other and fillings, just to recap, you had one with pepper jelly and cream cheese, mm -hmm. and the other one? And the other one was mustard, cheese, and ham. Okay, so one is in the oven, and then the pepper jelly and cream cheese is here. We're going to work on this German chocolate. Yes, so oh. chocolate ganache is made oh. using heavy cream and a bittersweet German chocolate is what I use. Uh -huh. um, and you, you heat your cream up, and you chop your chocolate up really fine, and you let it sit, and then you get to mix it, and it becomes this delicious, oh. wonderful oh. stuff. And you know, we may not have the patience to let it dry, but ganache is wonderful because you can make it 
fluid like this uh -huh. to you know make a design or whatever and then if it, we let it sit for a little bit it'll dry do you want to put anything on top do you want to get creative or do you want to leave it like this what tastes better in your opinion you know um i've been going with this but of course some toasted coconut on top Ooh. is not going to hurt anybody's Maybe some feelings almonds? right Ooh. right get All a little right. bit crazy some pecans that's you know is this ready to cut? Because I'm ready to it's eat ready it. It's ready to cut. Are you ready? Do yes. you want to dive in? Oh, you want you me, me to cut, cut a piece? It? It's a little messy. I'll like... let you cut it. I mean, I'll cut it. <laughs> It's going to be messy to eat, too. It is, with all that gooey chocolate. Now, are you making these at Windmill Market? Can we get these from you? You sure can. Okay, um, sweet old Like bakery. I said, Fridays and Saturdays, I try to have some just ready to go mm -hmm. for people to take out. Um, the specialty ones, I don't, mm -hmm. simply because I don't want to waste them if they don't sell. Uh, and I don't want to eat sell? them all. Is this um, my yeah, okay. dig in. I'll get you a napkin. Oh, I am. Don't you worry. I am going to dig in this, and I'm going to get chocolate all over my face. Sweet Olive Bakery Windmill Market. This is going to be messy, and I don't mind at all. Recipe is on fox10tv.com, or you can pick one up in downtown Fairhope. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Really, truly, Thanks. thank you. Thanks. It's good to be here. All right, there you see it. The king cake. Looking very good.